I'm Judy King with Next Step Service Dogs. We're located in San Diego County. Got a dog. The world that we live in, you and I, is a world of dreams with rose-colored glasses. We have education. We have jobs. We have the ability to go to the supermarket, climb in our cards, hug our kids. We have joy in our lives that we take for granted. We have a sense of security. And we move forward and have great lives many, many cases with a few bumps in the road. And in this world, we go to football games, we go to libraries, we go to homes. But the folks who have the PTSD nightmare in the military have a totally different life. It's ripped away. The possibility of going to a football game is impossible. The possibility of going to a supermarket is terrifying. And what happens is their brains become something different. Their, their brains become tweaked. They have post-traumatic stress syndrome, amygdala, which has the fear of flight or fight response in the face of anxiety, kicks in. Their nervous system is impacted. Their sense of joy and hope is removed. And it is a nerve-wracking world they live in, even though many of them cope very well. For those who don't cope well, it is a scary world because they become confined to their homes, confined to their nightmares, and often only sleep two or three hours a night. That level of anxiety rips away the possibility of being in public in many cases. By the time we see them, they're desperate. We're their last stop because the meds aren't working, the psychiatrists, psychiatrists aren't helping them, and they can't go anywhere and they have trouble communicating with their families, their friends, and they become very isolated. They're disconnected. Got dog? So what happens? Got dog? So what happens? How does a dog make a difference for veterans or anybody who have, has PTSD? It takes specialized training. And this training incorporates a number of techniques that are fairly recent in the last 10 years. Even though service dogs have been around for a long time, for handicapped, and for autism and seizures and other disabilities, it is new in the psychiatric arena, probably in the last 10 years. And as a result, we have, we seek rescue dogs from Utah, Southern California. There's young adult bright dogs who have their own issues, but we pair these dogs up with veterans to help them form a bond and help heal each other. So they become a partnership that is quite miraculous. The working dogs are not therapy dogs. Therapy dogs are designed to not have the training customized to these veterans. The veterans are paired up with the dogs to meet their personal handicap needs. So each veteran has customized training. Because they can't deal with public settings initially, the settings are one-on-one -on -one with a trainer, a veteran, and the dog. The customized training takes this one-on-one -on -one approach, which means that there's a scarcity of PTSD training for service dogs around our country. I'm estimating maybe 200 dogs a year out of the 600,000 who are hit with a PTSD nightmare. 600,000 military alone. That's, that's quite remarkable. 3,000 with PTSD hit the VA system every month the billing to, to deal with this is tough. A lot of the veterans we see are going from suicidal to purposeful. They regain their sense of the ability to actually deal with the world because the dog is protecting them. The dog is there to become their buddy 24-7. They don't have to go to the emergency room anymore. Their meds get lowered. They become a coping mechanism to survive the bomb blasts, the nightmares, the terrors. And this isn't just from wartime. We have medical corps people and Navy reservists who've been to Haiti, who've been to uh, the devastation there, to been to Japan with the nuclear um, toxic waste situations. Thousands of people dying and dead caused trauma to our young military. And overcoming the fears that arise from this, the nightmares, the flashbacks, this is what the dogs do. And so parenthood also becomes an issue because 
the veteran who has PTSD can't communicate, he's so fearful. The dogs are allowed to be in their lives and create that connection with the human race again. The parenthood comes back into play. For the first time, a veteran can sit with his kid and play Legos. For the first time, they can laugh. There's a joyful new self-confidence. How does this work? The dog is trained to go in front, beside, or behind them to create a protective barrier. The dog is trained to alert the veteran when there's a trigger appearing. It can be a helicopter sound. It can be a truck. It can be people of a certain color. It can be certain colors or sounds. In any environment, the dog is trained to react, respond, and divert away from the anxiety that escalates into overload. The bonding that occurs between these dogs and veterans in our community is so visible and so miraculous. Thank you very much to, to get a glimpse into our world of how to help these veterans who have PTSD. Got dog, next up service dogs. It's, it's a great way to go. If there's any interest in volunteer work donation, hiring veterans, which we seek to do to create jobs for them in the future, please let me know, let us know, or help other organizations do this amazing work saving lives of both dogs and people. Thank you very much.